they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear them. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Talk of the Town show. I'm your host, Enrique, and today we're here with... Leaf, what's up? All right, awesome. Hello, Leaf. Welcome. Uh, so to start things off, we like to do a little thing called rapid-fire questions. Okay, so, so I'll just... What happened? I said, okay, dope. Oh, okay, my dope. bad. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll ask you a few questions, and then just give you a quick response. Okay, dope. All right, cool. So three things you'll take with you on an island. Three things I'll take with me on an island. Is this like an island where I'm like, I'm stuck, I can't... I can't get off the island? Like, what's the real... Like, or am I just going on vacation? Uh, deserted island types. Deserted island. Yeah. Um, probably... Damn. This is... Other than resources, other than food, et cetera, right? Yeah, yeah. Anything you'd like. You know, it's, it's a deserted island, but hypothetically speaking, like, whatever you don't pick, you can live without. <laughs> hmm. that's, a really, that's a really good question. It's supposed to be rapid, too. I'm, I'm fucking up right now. <laughs> That's cool. Do you want to come back to it? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> I think, okay, this, this sounds bougie, but I definitely like to have a matcha latte every single day. So if I could take that with me, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Lifetime um, supply. <laughs> definitely vanilla body spray. That's okay. very specific, but I need that. And for sure, any dollar supply lip gloss. Okay. I got to stay, like, I got to stay hydrated, mm -hmm. and I got to stay smelling good, and my lips can't be chapped. Nah, never that. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is your favorite food? Um, favorite food? Mm -hmm. I would say sushi and pizza. Okay. Ooh. Nice yeah. combination. I feel you on the pizza thing. Sushi, yeah. I'm allergic, so I can't. I don't feel you there, but. <laughs> oh. oh, you're allergic? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Unfortunately. Um, but, like, to fish? Yeah, a lot of seafood I can't have, like uh, like crawfish, shellfish, have that kind of stuff. Have you been to Mama Sushi? I have not Mama been sushi. to Mama Sushi. It's like Domin it's a Dominican sushi spot. So they put oh. like salami con queso and stuff like that in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you can eat that sushi. So is it like Dominican food in the style of sushi? Yes. Oh, shit. So like, yeah. Oh, wow. Everything's Dominican in a sushi. Okay. But then they also have sushi. They have regular sushi. They have the regular flavors too. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly like... Um, it's a lot of Dominican stuff in there. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I know where I need to go now. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> go. They have three locations now? I think three. Okay. I shot my music video in one of them. Oh. Yeah. Which one? In uh, the one on East Tremont. Okay, which video? Oh, Is It You. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching right now, go watch that right now. It's at Mama Sushi. It was before it even opened. It was really cool. It oh, was wow. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Mama bad. Sushi. <laughs> Y'all know I love you. <laughs> um, what is your favorite album? That's really hard. It definitely would have to be a Drake or a Boogie album, though. Okay. Okay, not a bad pick. Or maybe The Weeknd, too. Like, one of the... That vibe, though. That vibe. Okay, I feel you. What about... Okay, how about your favorite song? Favorite song? Like, yeah. damn, that's really hard. <laughs> okay. Pick, um. <laughs> <laughs> what about a favorite song of yours? Not the favorite, but one that, like, you definitely like. Yeah. I'm going to give y'all the political answer and say D&D. <laughs> okay. Leave. It just dropped. <laughs> no, that's smart. That's smart. What, um, uh, what's one artist you want to work with that you haven't yet? Um, I think I just named them in the favorite albums one. Definitely Drake, A Boogie, The Weeknd. Okay. Um, definitely, like, Nicki, Cardi, you know, like, some of the top girls from New York. I would love that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm really down to collaborate with anyone. Okay. Hit me up. What about, what's one song of yours you wish you got, uh, sorry, one song of yours that you wish got more love? Um, damn. Uh, damn, that's hard. I feel like all of them, I feel like I'm still like, people are still finding out about me, so I wish all my songs got more love, because every single one of them is like my baby, you feel mm -hmm. me? So I can't really like pick one out. But um, I would say any of the, the ones I just dropped, go stream it right now. Okay, I feel that, yeah. Go stream that leaf. <laughs> what um, uh, what's, what, uh, what, what's the show you're currently watching? <laughs> I'm re-watching Adventure Time. Oh, really? Don't judge me. Don't judge no, me. never that. I love Adventure Time. Like, have, <laughs> so you've seen the whole series? Yes, and okay. I'm doing, like, I've been watching the YouTube deep dives on, like, the character analysis sure. okay. and stuff, because I'm a nerd <laughs> like that. Other than that, I watch, like, a lot of anime, and then I just finished Black Mirror, too. Oh, wow. Ooh, we yeah, got to talk about that? that. Yeah, I love Black Mirror. This new season was crazy. I'm not really into, like, things that scare me, but it's good to watch it, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think it was a really good one this season. Yeah. What is, uh, what's your favorite thing to do in NYC? Um, hang out with my family or my girls. 
Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Or eat food. I love eating food. Yeah, we got a whole lot of that here yeah, in New York City. Really just be outside. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. in the summertime. No, no, not in the summertime. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> and <laughs> hanging out indoors in the summertime. Yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna find a location we can meet outside of the location, go in directly. Yeah. <laughs> and it better be AC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with this heat, especially. Or the today. car better be AC. Something better have some AC. Yeah, man. something cool. What um uh what's one lesson you've learned in the industry so far? Um, one lesson I've learned in the industry, I say be authentic to yourself, one. And then two, I would say just never stop and keep going. And like, mm-hmm. you got to be your biggest, your own biggest fan because there's so many times you're going to want to stop or just going to want to be like, this is too much. And if yeah. you're not really invested in it and you, you don't really love it, then it's not going to go well. Wow. I like that. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's great. You like that for real? Yeah. I feel like that was a typical answer. I mean, yeah, but it, it's, it's a semi-typical He's answer. It. Nah, never that. No, but I mean, <laughs> everybody puts their own kind of like their own sauce on it, you know? And oh, I feel like okay. the way you put the sauce on it, A1 answer. Yeah. The sauce is sprinkled. <laughs> and then, okay, this is, this is a fun one. If you put together a scythe. A scythe. With three other artists. Yeah. Who would they be? I think scythe is the funniest name ever because every time someone says a scythe i always think of smoking weed yeah but um like a, a mc scythe um <laughs> i don't know okay. I, I like i like real battle rap yeah. and i wouldn't consider myself or any of the other girls that i really fuck with like battle rappers okay but i would love to do a roast scythe Ooh, with interesting. Me, glorilla i think cardi would be lit in there and then maybe someone like let's mix it up like Doja Cat, she's real funny. Ooh, she's that's real nice funny. Pick. Yeah, that'd be like an interesting like roast life. Like if yeah. you know, like how they be doing on um, Wild and Out. And yeah, stuff? That was, yeah, I was just like, about to ask. Those you, like, are like funny, that. you know. But like battle rap is like a real serious. Like I feel like that's real serious. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of it doesn't get too much exposure too. You know, like I feel like a lot of people who listen to mainstream hip hop and rap probably like aren't too in tune yeah, with battle maybe. rap. Yeah, maybe. I think it all depends. I think everything has its own like places you mm-hmm. know what i mean because we, we could say that about like a lot of things yeah that's true it's definitely the definitely it's not getting played on the radio but like oh, no, i don't no think no. i want that to be honest <laughs> Man, you in your car and it's like and then i was oh yeah because oh, it's, it's not really like, uh, it's not like I'm a to relax right now <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's very bravado. It's very like machismo in a way, but it's also like not like a song either, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's very like well, forceful. It depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it's not really like there's no hook. Yeah. Definitely no hook. This <laughs> is <just> bars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, let's move on to the to the rest of the interview. So, DND came out today. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course. Appreciate it. What was uh what was the creative process like behind the song? Like what was it like putting it together? So me and uh, my producer, Sito, we were in the studio and he actually had made the beat and he just played it for me. And he was like, yo, would you hop on this? And I was oh, like, wow. yeah. And I just hopped on it. Okay. And it was like really, it was really <laughs> seamless like that. We've been working for years though. So we've been building the sound for like a minute. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like Jersey Club, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't say it's like drill. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely like a, a variation of both because he's from Jersey. He's okay. from Jersey City, born mm-hmm. and raised. Um, and I'm from New York, born and raised. Yeah. So it's just our sounds and who we are collectively. And then, like, I told him I wanted to be, like, like kind of, like, 2000s pop-ish. Okay. Because the girls' vocals on it is kind of, like, gives, like, Christina Aguilera or something, right? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. it's definitely, like, in the hook and in the backing tracks as well, it definitely gives that pop feel. Exactly. But I feel you on it not... Because it's definitely... It's like an equal mix of Jersey Club and Drill. Exactly. It's like a, a Jersey Drill type thing. Yeah, well, Jersey Drill is also its own genre. Oh, yeah, that's also true. But so. what we're doing is like New York Drill, Jersey Club, mm-hmm. Jersey Drill, collaborate. I don't know. Yeah. We just making it sound like <laughs> things get too complicated when you start trying to like break it down. Yeah, no, I feel that. And My name is Leaf, but I'm not like weed, so like you don't got to break it down. That okay. was so corny. Okay. No. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> that was so corny. I see Cut what you out. were doing there. It, I, was, um, I wasn't sure at first. I, I thought you Cut were going to like... Cut that out. Cut that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, nah, that's hilarious because like I wasn't sure where you were going with that, but by the time like you closed it out, like I like it. That was funny. You're Isn't like, that a nice little dad joke time? <laughs> you're like, hopefully uh, she survives this one. Um, Sheesh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I am. Uh, I like it because I feel like it's definitely a very representative of uh, not one sound, but an amalgamation of the sounds that are really popular in like the New York metro area. I like that word, amalgamation. Thank you. I like that word. Yeah, I was an English major. You were? Fire. Yeah. I didn't graduate though, so. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <nah>. Um, <laughs> So you're uh, you're shooting a music video for for D and D too, right? Yeah. When you shot the music we video, we shot the right? video. Okay, when does that drop? Uh, it's supposed to drop tomorrow, but I'm okay. still getting the final edits right now. So pray for me, my whole team, that we get it out by tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. It's been oh, a I'm sorry. We, we, we <laughs> what? No, I cut you off. I'm oh sorry. no, it's all good. Uh, hopefully, by the time this airs, it's already out. Yeah, hopefully. So. I think it will be though, because when is this gonna air? Uh, that's a great question. Well, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be out before Monday, yeah. so it'll probably be yeah. Like by the time yeah. this is out, the video will be out. You better go stream that shit. Yeah, run it up, DND. Oh, D. <laughs> so, <you're> dumb. <laughs> what was the inspiration? So, like behind the lyrics and such, like DND, like this person being a dub or any person, you know, being a dub. Like, what in that moment was like, yeah, this is this is what I want to talk about. So it's actually really funny. Yeah, I was talking to Sito when I was in the studio and I was like, I feel like I just keep talking about my pussy in all my songs. And I want to make a song that like young girls can listen to. Okay. Um, that's not like so much sex focused. Okay. Um, and like, yeah, we still got like the pussy lines in there. We still got the sex lines in there, but I feel like this chorus specifically is a chorus that like anybody could chant, yeah. whether you're a girl or a guy or like, you know what I mean? Like anyone could chant that. Like, I'm at the club, obviously not like I'm with my, I'm with some bad bitches. Well, they, you could say that as a guy. I'm with some bad bitches popping pussy, turning up like they turning be. up, they popping pussy. You feel yeah. me? Like, so that's really what I wanted to do with this song. So when I was thinking about it, I'm just like kind of a toxic person, so it just came out really easily. Yeah. Because it's not like I'm making anything up. It's just my life. Yeah. Oh, and Cardi actually tweeted <laughs> that it's a D and D summer. Oh, which is very which true. is crazy because it was like. I, I don't know. Sometimes in New York, things be small. Sometimes sometimes it's just magic, miracles, God, you never know. But the fact that she tweeted that literally the week of my release is like yeah. some crazy coincidence, and I love it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I really love it. That's absolutely nuts. Like, yeah. one, of the, one of the biggest stars on the planet just so happens to, to do that. Have the same feeling. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes the vibes are just the energies in the, in the atmosphere. You never know. So. Yeah, it could be testament. Like, maybe it really is a D&D summer. It really is a D&D yeah. summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. So, <laughs> so D&D is um, part of a project that yes. you're getting ready to release, right? Yeah, so it's okay. called Dub Him. Okay. And then there's a second half called But I Love Him. Oh. But I don't know if I should say that. Okay. Am I supposed to say that? Doesn't matter. Anyway, it's called Dub Him, But I Love Him. So That's the first half is Dub Him. Okay. Like, we dub him this summer. Like, dub your man. Don't mm -hmm. come to the club. And bring your man. Like, that's happened to me before. My homegirls have come to the club with their man, and I've just been like, really? Damn. Like, this is what we doing tonight? Mm hmm This is crazy. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they may be a vibe. Sometimes they may be, like, blocking the whole vibe. If your man is a vibe, tell him to meet you there. Don't bring him with you. Like, he'll, br he'll meet you there. He'll do his little thing with his boys mm -hmm. on the other side of the club. Once y'all drunk, y'all can leave together. But don't fuck up my summer. Mm. Bring your man outside everywhere. Like, damn. Damn. He's was... single. <laughs> As the guy who has been brought somewhere, um, <laughs> yeah, nah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's I'd not the vibe that you, well, sometimes it's the vibe, but like the vibe has to be set, like from jump, like just okay. say like, this is, is this an event I should bring my man to? Or is this an event where we're going to be out girls night, mm. turning up, popping pussy, D&D, &D, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, no, I feel you. Cause then like, if you bring, if you go ahead and you bring your man to where it's like the vibe on the second half, you know, like D&D, yeah, &D, like, like, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah exactly. nah, you don't want that. Yeah, yeah then your man it's is very, judging all of us. And yeah, you don't need that square energy. Then you're going to go home and have a fight because I'm not turning down because your man's there. Yeah. And I'm not about to be like, oh, let me stop talking about what we was going to talk about because your man is here. Like, no, it's just about to get crazy. Sheesh, And yeah. then you might not have a man by the end of the night. So just tell your man, stay home. Yikes. And then go out with your man some other time. Yeah, you don't want that. That's what dates are for. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> dates, couples, couples nights, couples parties. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, okay. Dub him. 
but I love him. Yes. So it's like a, it's almost like a concept album. Is that yeah, fair to say? Yeah, it's a concept album. Okay, nice. I don't know. I, I never thought of it like that until now. Okay. But yeah, I guess it is a concept album. Interesting. What is the, uh, why two parts instead of just one, one piece of work? I just feel like people digest music differently now. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to break it up. Okay. You know? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we live in an age where music is like constantly consumed. Exactly. And you can listen to one song today and then forget about it a week mm-hmm. later. So, exactly. No, yeah. I, def- I just broke it down to like four or five songs on each. Ooh, interesting. So it's like a little, a little taste. Hmm, okay. Oh, the first project is dropping on July 21st. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a Talk of the Town exclusive? Or yeah, is that, already that actually is an exclusive. Oh, wow. No, okay. Yeah, that's an exclusive. Okay, look at that. Talk of the Town exclusive. Yeah. Dub him dropping July 21st. July 21st. Okay, awesome. So... What is the what was the inspiration behind the project itself? Um, okay, so I was really just making the first house half house. <laughs> I was making the first half with Sito and we were in the studio and it was a bunch of like real turn up type of stuff. Yeah. But then um we created this other sound, which is like Jersey Club R and B type of drill type okay. of stuff. And then I was like, damn, I like both of these so much, but how do I put both of them out without Confusing everybody. Yeah. Um, so I just decided to make one part about turning up. Okay. And one part about like, okay, maybe we're going to get back together type shit. Like, if you take me back, because I know I've been toxic this summer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I like that. It's kind of got like a nice little complete story in it. Yeah, so the second half is going to come out during like cuffing season. Oh, know? okay. Interesting. I like what you're doing there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's definitely, um, it's like the music almost matches with like the temperament of the season. I try to. I feel like people say that doesn't matter, but I think it matters to me. I'm a seasonal yeah. person. Yeah, no, I get that. It's like, I mean, you can drop a song that's like, feels like it's outside type music yeah. in February. But it might not start heating up until like the summertime. Exactly. Because like who's who's, who's gonna outside be on in that February? Type of energy. Yeah. I'm like really music is like the playlist to my life. Like mm-hmm. the you know like I think I'm in a movie and then the music is like you know. I like that. Um. So whenever I make music, I try to think of that concept because I know other people probably feel like that too. Yeah. You know. Is is the project still being put together? Is it something like you're working on every day type or? No, it's done. Oh, the whole thing? I mean, I could probably add maybe one or two, but right now I'm just looking for features and trying to get as many good people on it as possible, so. Okay, so yeah. what's, the, what's the feature selection process like? Like, do you ask um, people or do people hit you up? So far, my feature situation has been very, very organic. Okay, um, But That's great. now I'm like outwardly searching and seeking these relationships through like my label through my team and like trying to see who will fuck with my shit because I want to take it to like a bigger level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I try to go as organic as possible though because I want it to be like, I believe that like your brand should align with like who you are. Mm. So I try to keep my relationships organic. Okay. Um, but then all the, at the same time, like this is a business. So like people would like to get paid for their work and there's nothing wrong with that too. So yeah. both ways, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's how I look at it. Okay, nice. So we'll see how, I don't even have, I have like one feature right now, so we'll see how the rest come into play. Okay, interesting. You know? But so far, I've done it pretty organically, so. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like, I've been in the artist, oh, let me phrase that, sorry. <laughs> I've been in the studio with artists a few times, and I mean, as a writer, it's not really an environment I get to step into. Yeah. But I think like it's, it's really interesting seeing people's like creative process behind songs, yeah. doing like a whole verse, and then listening to it and then being like, actually, I didn't like that. Yeah. And just like chopping the whole thing up. What was, uh, what was that like for you? I think one day I'll like do a live of like my sessions and stuff. Cause I tell people all the time, like I lit- I really like record mm-hmm. music within like an hour. Like oh, wow. I can record a song within an hour. Like I could write it, record it, everything within an hour. And people don't usually believe me cause it sounds like made up, but I also write all my shit and like, I really just go in there and finish that shit within an hour and if i can't get it out quickly then i feel like it's not meant to be i don't know it's like a weird thing that i have i'm trying to break out of that too Mm -hmm. i'm trying to like be like more what's the word what's the word for like taking your time no like other people have other processes and you have to like oh 
uh, com- I'm like compromising during processes. Oh, gotcha. Like that's okay. what I'm trying to say. Like I try to be more like lenient with other people in their processes because not everybody records that fast or makes music that fast. But for me, it's important to knock it out really quickly. Where I feel like, I don't know, music is like something that's like inside of me. So I feel like it like leaves after a certain period of time. Like if I, I need to grasp it and like just put it out. Type, yeah. I don't know. Like it's hard to explain. No, I see what you mean because it's like recording this music and then putting these projects out it's almost like they're glimpses into moments of how you're feeling that's how I, exactly i try to explain that to people like i feel like every single time i record it's exactly this moment with exactly these people and exactly the sound that we're creating at this exact time in history mm-hmm. and there's really like if it takes too long that might leave like the vibe might change yeah. it might like it's just so many different parts of it because okay. i feel like i'm taking a, a polaroid you know mm, yeah yeah, of definitely sound. capturing the moment. Yeah, like, you know Damn, what I mean? Okay. <laughs> oh, artsy, <laughs> you know? But yeah, that's how I feel. Like, it's like a Polaroid of sound. Okay, no, that's a great comparison. So, okay, let me ask you this then. Do you ever take songs, like, don't make one project and, like, keep it in case you want to put it on another? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> but I have so much music that I just will never see, like, the light of day. Wow. It's insane. I think it probably, like, 500, maybe 1,000 songs. Sheesh. Yeah, I record a lot. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of music. Yeah. Sometimes I think about like people like Jimi Hendrix and stuff, because when Jimi Hendrix died, he had like all those tapes that released. Yeah. Like stuff like that would be cool. Hmm. A leaf, a leaf like unreleased. Yeah, but I'm not dying anytime soon. Oh, no. God forbid. <laughs> no, we don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, staying on the topic of your music, you actually had a song featured on the Amazon series Swarm. Yes. What was, uh, what was that like, making your sync debut? Honestly, it was actually pretty random okay. because um, my team had told me like, yo, would you like to be on like, would you like your song to get synced in this, in this TV series? And I was just like, yeah, cool. How much are they paying me? And then like months later, they were like, oh, well, I didn't even know. People were just telling me like, yo, your song is on Swarm. Oh, shit. So I called them. Yeah. I was like, yo, when did this happen? And they were like, <laughs> months ago. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Wow, it be like that. Yeah, it really too. So, so there was like, it just happened basically. Like, like they asked about it, and then you just it just ended up happening. Yeah, because I don't. No one told me it was Jordan Peele. No one told me it was like Amazon. <laughs> no one told me what it was. They were just like, "Yo, you want this bread for this?" And I was like, "Yes, I would love some more bread." Let's yeah, go. who doesn't? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> "Shit, let's let's get it. Let's go S- sync my song," and then um, find out it's like actually like a huge situation. Hopefully, I get into acting the same way. Yeah. Because I want to get into acting. So. Yeah. Well, you're actually, I mean, I don't know how many people know this, but you're also a model, right? Yeah, I'm a model. Okay. Yeah, how, I've been modeling for years. How did you get into modeling? Um, street wear, one, and street okay. photography. So I used to just go to Soho and just ask people to take photos of me. And then okay. um, one day I got like an opportunity to model for the hundreds. Oh, wow. I modeled for. Like a bunch of street, a bunch of streetwear brands, like probably ten or twenty, and then I landed a Calvin Klein um, campaign, and then from there it was just like campaigns were rolling in after that, and then I did like Teen Vogue and like, you know what I mean? I'm actually gonna get back into modeling soon. I took a little bit of break of a break because um, I just felt like it was overpowering my music career, okay. and I don't want people to see me as a model because mm-hmm. I always was being casted as a rapper. Mm, which okay. is interesting to say to people but yeah. like they're not gonna understand that if you see most of my like accomplishments are modeling so okay very I was true. like let me take a little a little break yeah and then just invest in my time in rap so is like they're separate industries but was there any kind of like crossover in how you approach modeling that carried over to music or vice versa like did it inform your uh your approach yeah i think that's what i'm trying i to would say. say they're very 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 different Modeling, you go and you go to like a bunch of castings and you like basically present yourself. Okay. I would say modeling is more like going to a job interview over okay. and over again. But like your your interview is just based off like your face. Like imagine you went to a job interview, they're like, mm, yeah, I don't know if you're for if you're for this job. Sheesh. Yeah, that would be tough. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's like um, for me, it's like. It was kind of, it's also like a harsh industry to be in because to every day, every time you go into like a job interview to, for people to like tell you that they just don't like how you look, it's like a little bit aggressive. Yeah. But um, at the same time, like I don't really care. Mm-hmm. Like I'm really, I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck type of person. So I, it wasn't really bothering me. 
um, I would just be like, damn, these people have no taste. Mm. That ass, and then just leave. Nice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't say it's anything like rap. I, I guess you have to have the same confidence. That's the only thing that I would say is similar, similar to that. But yeah. I think rap is more like an art form. Like definitely modeling is art form. Don't get me wrong to all my models. Like there's a lot of things you have to do that are art forms. But I think that music is more of an art form and like full 100% creation. Mm. Okay. You know, that's how I'd say it. Yeah. Damn. That is. That's tough. I mean, I have zero experience in modeling so I'm that's sure like not you can model right now i'm sure oh thank you i appreciate yeah. that <laughs> go get you some campaigns <laughs> <laughs> so wow that's that's really tough i had no clue i mean like i know it's based on looks yeah but i didn't realize that the casting process was that like that harsh i mean it's not like it depends on what it depends on which casting you're going to or like what that person's mood is or anything like that i don't think it's specifically harsh okay um i just think it's the industry you mm. know what i mean and i've also done lots of campaigns like to help with uh body positivity and like changing the sphere of what modeling looks like because mm. there are some unhealthy practices in modeling just like ballet or any other art like there's a lot of art forms that there's unhealthy stuff that happens yeah um so it was just important to like create that what is it called? Diversity. Yeah. Within modeling and like to create a space for people to be like, you know, like to feel like there's a place for them. And I think we've actually we've actually done that since the, since I've done those campaigns. Like we've come a lot a long way. Yeah. In um the fashion world, so I'm excited about that. Nice. That's for cool. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. We oh. definitely have ways to go still. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, but we've come a long way. Yeah, I think that inclusivity is something mm -hmm. that, like, especially That's in the past the few years, <laughs> it's been, like, something that a lot of places have really been harping on, you know? Yeah, it's important, though. Like, I think we get upset because it's like, oh, my God, everybody's inclusive now. But that's actually a, a great thing. Yeah. That's actually a great thing. And I think there needs to be more, like, like, I say go and support all the black designers. I think there needs to be more black designers. Like, shout out Laquan Smith. Shout out Telfar. Shout out... Uh, Brandon Blackwood, you know what I mean? There's so many dope, dope, dope black designers that need to be supported in the fashion space that um, don't get enough support. Tia mm. Adeola, you know? So definitely go support your black designers because that right there, what Virgil did for fashion, what Kanye did for fashion, has completely changed fashion for the rest of fashion history. And um, people might not recognize it, but we're literally living in history right now. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Shout out to them. Shout out. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody. R.I.P. Virgil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, rest in peace for sure. I think that inclusivity is, like you're saying, so important because, I mean, I'll take it from personal experience. When I was growing up uh, writing stories and stuff like that, they would never, like, the main characters would never be, like, people of color. Yeah. It'd always be white people because yes. that's what I saw in movies. That's what I saw on television and yes. the books I read. Mm -hmm. But now that is, you know, as time is going on, we're getting older, industries are growing, like more and more people are able to have the opportunities that we didn't have before yes. or weren't there present. It's uh yeah, a lot of people hate on inclusion, but yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like it's not all like deserved, you know? Definitely. And also shout out to Loire because there's also a lot of um, Hispanic leading brands coming forward as well. Mm. So that's really dope. That's nice. Dope as well. So we're going to play, oh, actually before we play the last game, <laughs> which actually is called, the, the last game. Yeah. We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> so actually, um, I'm going to save that one for last. We'll play the last game first. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this one, it's kind of just like it's going to be the last X, Y, Z. Okay. So the first one is the last thing you ate. The last thing I ate? Yeah. Yogurt? Yogurt? Damn, that's like not exciting at all. <laughs> okay. I'm about to make up a lie. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Halal food, chopped cheese. I don't know. Something delicious at least. Yogurt is like yeah, it's pretty a basic. bagel. A bagel? No. No? <laughs> I'm just lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I had yogurt and the soda that I just finished. Okay. What is, uh, what's the last movie you saw? Um, what was the last movie I saw? Damn. I just watched a movie. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Damn. It was, some, it was either a Marvel movie or... The last movie I wanted to have seen was okay. the Spider-Man movie that just came out. Oh, but okay. I didn't see it. I didn't you haven't see seen it? it? No. Wow. But I'm about to go see that. And that I want to really see The good. Little Mermaid, too. Ooh. I, I haven't seen The Little Mermaid. My girlfriend saw it, though. She said it was very good. Really good? I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I, um, uh, 
Yeah, I'm kind of. I want to go with my full pajamas though. Yeah. I, that's why I haven't gone yet. Oh, so it's very like very core memory type thing, right? Yeah. Like, very. Like, okay. I'm gonna go like in my pajamas. I'm gonna smuggle in some snacks, like. Mm-hmm. You know? So, <laughs> is it safe? <laughs> is it safe to say that you were a fan of like the Little Mermaid growing up? That was my favorite Disney movie. No. Oh wow! Oh, Which it was one or was wasn't. My favorite? No, it wasn't. What was okay. my favorite? Oh, actually, Beauty and the Beast. Oh wow! Yeah. Interesting. I okay. Like that story. I don't know if I had a favorite one growing up. I think uh, probably Peter Pan. Peter Pan is good. Yeah. yeah. They used to play it in my school auditorium all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So I've like probably seen it the most. Damn. That was a good one. <laughs> so okay, how about this? Last person you texted. Last person I texted probably Kayla. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Because <laughs> we just linked up. <laughs> <laughs> When is, um, okay, when's the last time you felt accomplished? Accomplished? Yeah. Hmm. Sam, I'm hard on myself. I'm not okay. going to lie. <sighs> last time I felt accomplished was when I did, like, I lifted, um, like, 100 pounds deadlift. No, like, 120 pounds deadlifted um, in the gym. Okay. Yeah, that was an accomplishment. Damn, I haven't even done that. Bravo. Gym batty. <laughs> <laughs> strong leaf okay yeah. show me <laughs> some thighs <laughs> they be burning but it'd be worth it when is um <laughs> when's the last time you smoked smoked yeah i actually quit vaping oh, wow. two years ago congratulations. congratulations to me i was addicted yeah. like addicted yeah. bad like i was like crackhead levels like Sheesh. my friends told me to stop like yeah. that's when you know it's bad like i couldn't do anything without hitting my vape Wow. Like, that's actually including like, sex. Wow. That's crazy. That's insane, <laughs> Yo, right? Oh, <laughs> no, that's nuts. Like, I've. It was giving crackhead levels. Nah, I've never been like one on the whole like Nick stick kind of thing. Yeah. Like, because I don't know. I just couldn't see like you're just sucking on a battery. Yeah, you know? no, it really is bad. It's and really that stuff bad. is like terrible for it's your really lungs. Bad. It started with hookah. Be safe, y'all. Be safe. Ooh, it started damn. with hookah. The hookah to like vape pipeline. Is really strong, slippery. but it's a not slippery good. Slippery slope downhill. Like yeah. one day you're smoking hookah, next day you hitting it, you hitting your vape in alleyways. You feel me? Like be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, were you like, were you a jewel girlie? No, no, I was um okay. those like what are those? I forget what they're called now because I try to not think about them. But the <laughs> disposable ones, the ones that you just uh, ice bars. Oh, okay. Yeah, ice yeah. bars. Wow, she is sure. Yeah. Uh, welcome. I'm glad that you're Thank like you know you. you're off that because uh, like you, especially as a singer. You to everybody, <laughs> yeah, to everybody who is nicotine addicted right now, it's not as bad as you think. You can beat your addiction. I swear to every anyone who's addicted to anything, you could beat your addiction. Hmm. I promise you, I beat my addiction. You could beat your addiction. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Let's beat our addictions this year. As you should. D and D summer. D&D. Beat our addiction summer. Yeah, exactly. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> when is um? Oh no, what's the last thing you told someone that changed your perspective on something? The last thing I told somebody. Oh, I read that last wrong. Thing I'm sorry. Someone told me. Yeah, the last I'll thing someone like, told you that changed your perspective. That's a question. My <laughs> the last thing I told somebody that they needed to listen to was. Yeah. No, let me <laughs> I mean, if you want to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's horrible. The last thing someone told me. Damn. You be asking some questions and my brain don't be working on these levels. These are high functioning levels of like. Um, I'm sorry. I got to go back into like life. <laughs> uh, last thing someone told me. That like changed my life. Mm, well, I can't say it's the last Damn. thing someone personally told me, but yeah. the last thing that I like did that change my life was I just read this book called All About Love, hmm, which is kind of like off brand for this interview. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's a really good, it's a really good book. Um, and it just talks about why people can't connect hmm. and why we're having like such a like division based on like love, not just in a romantic sense, but just around the world type shit. It's a really wow. good book. Who's it by? Um, Bell Hooks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. You know who that is? Yeah. I've, oh, excuse me. Damn, I'm definitely gonna check that out now. I don't even know who the author is. I just found a good book. Oh, okay. I, I've heard of Bell Hooks but a I'm few sure times. But I'm sure it's a good author. Yeah. <laughs> now that she just did all that. Yeah. Like. Um, what's it called? So, okay. What is the last song you listened to? Did I ask you that already? Um, no, no, I asked you what your favorite song was. The last song I listened to. 
was, bitch, I got bops. Bitch, Coil Ray. Oh, is that, is that off, to, is that off her new project? I just listened to album, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm actually, I like it. I think maybe because I love Jersey Club. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I remember listening to Trendsetter. Um, Trendsetter, yeah. Trendsetter is a good project, too. Yeah, honestly, a lot of it definitely, like, did not stay to memory. And yeah. that's just, like, a product of being a reviewer. Yeah, Having to listen you. to stuff, like, every week and stuff like that. I but I haven't really had the chance to catch up on Koi. Like, actually like listen Koi. to it. I like Koi. People have mixed feelings about her, but I'm a big supporter of her music. I like her music. Yeah? I think she's dope. What did you think about the new project? I think that my the first four songs are not my favorite. I wish she would have just, like, not put those in the beginning because I feel like it stops people from listening to, like, the rest of the project, which I feel like is really good. Mm. Okay. Like, the first couple of songs, not my favorite. The Like, after those, after you get through those, then it starts getting really good. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'll definitely give it a listen. Yeah. When is, uh, and the last one is, when's the last time you felt genuinely excited? Like, you could not mm-hmm. wait for something. Honestly, <laughs> this sounds weird. But in the morning, I do this thing where I just get myself really, really excited. Okay. Every day. That's and I not just bad. be like in my house. I'm not for no reason whatsoever. I just be like, all right, it's time to just act really, really excited. Yeah. And just feel really excited. It just starts my day better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Better than starting off your day like really bad or just yeah. being like grumpy or anything like that. Yeah, exactly. Do you like do you use a playlist to get yourself pumped or No, I just like <laughs> it's just pure leaf energy. Yeah. Yeah? Wow. That's <laughs> That's weird, right? No, I I wish I wish I You could, could do, do that. it. You just stand there and you just get really just <laughs> really excited. Like just imagine imagine the best thing ever happened to you. That's what I do every single day. I just think of like the best thing ever like happened to me and I just get really excited. Wow. And okay. Then I start my day. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a that definitely helps you get in the mindset. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People be asking me how I'd be like chill all day. I guess that's why. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Damn, okay. I never thought about that. I like, do weird exercise like that. And then sometimes I just do things where I just like to like laugh by myself. Like, I'm you, not do you crazy. make yourself laugh or do you think of something that makes you laugh? I just laugh. You can just laugh. You don't have to think about anything for real. You just, just laugh? Yeah, you can just laugh. <laughs> okay. You're doing it right now, low key. Yeah, damn. Okay. <laughs> for me, it's like not that difficult. You gotta get your like, what's it called? You gotta get your dopamine in. For me. Mm, yeah. Very true. I would, I'm dopamine. like an Aries, so I like I ch- I chase adrenaline. Mm, like said- I love working out. I love doing things that excite me. Okay. Um. Yeah. And you said you're an Aries, right? Yeah, I'm an Aries. Okay. I'm not really too informed. What are you? I'm like I'm a Leo. Okay, fire signs, feel me? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're a fire sign. I'm a fire sign, yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't aware of that. Now he knows. <laughs> now I know, thank you. I'm definitely going to do a little more, a little more reading because, That's like, funny. I, see, I see it everywhere, all over social media, all these jokes and stuff like that and things like that. Yeah. And, like, I have no clue what they mean half the time. Like, I saw, I saw, are you on threads? Have you yeah, tried it? Yeah, I just started. What do you, like how do you that. feel about it? Um, I'm honestly really scared and excited because like i already have like a bunch of followers and i'm just Mm. like i didn't expect people to find me this quickly because the reason why i don't tweet is because i'd be nervous i feel that i'd be nervous to tweet yeah i don't blame you it it definitely feels like there's a lot of pressure i'm gonna get canceled for anything and i've been having a lot of like i don't know if it's cancelable cancelable ideas but i'm just not sure if they are or not so i just be staying Mm. off yeah i just be staying off of it you need (laughs) you need like like, how do you know like who do you fact check it with because then i ask my friend and that's my friend like they're not gonna tell me like yeah they're gonna they're not gonna give you like the unbiased like yeah opinion that is gonna tell you that you should not tweet something exactly and then who knows like in 10 years from now like we're we're in a place right now where like people are policing you for what you say but in 10 years who knows what people will be sensitive about absolutely and being from new york there's a lot of things that i grew up saying that are just like not okay to say you know what i mean Agreed. that i yeah. now know so i don't know what else i don't know yeah you know what i'm saying no absolutely like, because i feel like that's on how you feeling. twitter especially is like that's where people sh- shit yeah that's, where people's like <laughs> that's shit. Ho- how, always how people that's get taken down that's why i be trying not to say anything anywhere yeah. like in my interviews i feel like you could see my face and you can like perceive how it's being said yeah. but in on twitter it's like people could just read it however they want but i've been saying crazy shit on threads so i'm gonna oh, have word? to delete some tweets soon damn i gotta tap in that's mad funny <laughs> <laughs> i think it's so interesting because like twitter i feel like has definitely been um, on the fritz yeah since uh since elon bought it and they've done all this crazy shit it's been since then i thought it was since before that 
Oh, really? I don't know. I, have, I haven't been on Twitter since, like, years. And then my Twitter got hacked, Ooh. and someone was selling PS5s on my Twitter. Nah, crazy. that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy moment, just seeing everyday people, like, getting scammed on my Twitter was just like, damn, this is bad. Over a PS5 is nuts. It's, it's OZ nuts. And then yeah. when I finally got back into it, I had to, like, delete all the PS5 stuff. It was, like, a mess. Yeah. And I was just like, I hope no one thinks that like this is me scamming people. Because <laughs> I, I never even had a PS5. Damn. Do you think any Leaf fans like were like, wow, Leaf is selling PS5s and they tried to get one? That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel Damn. so bad. So if you bought a PS5 and that really wasn't me, I, I really got scammed. <laughs> like, I don't know. I know it doesn't sound believable too. Yeah. It sounds like such a weird story. My life is full of weird ass stories. That like, is so funny. Wow. Yeah. Because you're like you're a figure of influence too. Yeah, so like exactly. for that to happen to such a public account. Exactly. Sheesh. But at least my my Twitter only has like I think fifteen K. Okay. So it's not as big as my Instagram and stuff like that because I stopped using it in like twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. Um so only fifteen thousand people might have got scammed. Okay. A lower ratio. <laughs> okay, not the worst. I mean, 15k compared to like what you have on Instagram. 182K, like, yeah, so that's, it's that's a better a it's a better ratio. Of people who might have got scammed, but if you did, I'm really sorry. Yeah, sorry to those people. Sorry to that those is, people. That is unfortunate. I'm not sure if they got anybody, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if they did, then I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's an unfortunate situation. <laughs> yeah, damn. No, that is really tough because, like, how did you even get your account back? Like, um, I don't know. I think I went through like literally Twitter. Like, yeah. I had my team. I like was complaining to them about it for like two years, but they weren't taking it serious. And then, no, well, it was, like, really, like, a year. But they weren't yeah. taking it serious. They were, like, oh. And then, finally, I had to drop music again. They were, like, yo, what's up with your Twitter? I was, like, I've been <laughs> telling you. But, like, someone hacked my shit. Like, I don't know what we're about to do about this. Damn. And then they were, like, well, we'll figure it out. And then they figured it out. And I was, like, y'all could have done this a year ago. Not for And real. not let someone. <laughs> <laughs> could have saved a lot of people, for like, like PS5s so that they weren't really getting. <laughs> and then it's even funnier because I wonder how many people follow me thinking I'm a PS5 account. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's even funnier yeah Sheesh. that's even funnier uh, once again sorry to all of those people yeah that is for crazy. real sorry like sincerest apologies for real because it really was not me it mm-hmm. was not me like on on god on everything i love it was not me so yeah ho- hopefully that doesn't happen on threads either that would, threads would be yeah. crazy that's that's attached to my instagram i don't think that's possible yeah that would be tough because yeah. then like that's like a two for one like combo. i didn't have two-factor authentication authentication at that time so okay uh, now I do on everything, so. Oh, yeah, I'm not verified on Twitter, so yeah. I don't have it. You don't, you can't get it if you're not verified. Yeah, no, you can only do two factor. Well, with your phone number, with oh. your phone number. But if like I download some like other authenticator app, then you could do it. Yeah, then I can do it. They should have everyone do two factor authentication. Yeah, for real, it'd be a lot more. Or ha- at least give them the option because like, just because you're not verified doesn't mean you don't have a reputable account. You know what I mean? No, very true. That's how yeah. I feel. Thank you. Speak up for the people who I'm aren't verified. Saying, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I got lucky with the verification thing because I was just verified early. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just verified early. I was doing a lot of things young, so yeah. I got verified early. Okay. How do, you, how do you feel about people who, like, pay for verification? I don't really think it's a bad thing. Okay. I just think, like, if you're paying for a verification but you only have, like, 200 followers, then, like... I don't know. I don't know the reason you would be verified. Yeah. But if it makes sense in your head, then that's all that matters. Yeah. Some people Fuck just the want haters. a blue check. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck the haters. If you if you got your blue check just to stunt on everybody in your neighborhood, then fuck it. That's you. No. Yeah. You got a point. Like I'm a verified person. What are you? You walking around with no identity? <laughs> 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 bitches have no identity out here. Can't can't relate. Nah. Zuck knows who you are. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, it's mad funny. I'm <laughs> crying. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Leaf, thank you so much. Uh, this has been great. Yeah. I want to ask you uh, just one more time, or rather, one last thing. Yeah. Uh, aside from the project, what else should we be on the lookout for? So, I'm dropping this project. I'm dropping a video first, though, okay. which you'll see. Just dropped a song today. Mm-hmm. Um, dropping the first half of the project, July 21st. Dropping the second half during cuffing season. Okay. Definitely some features on the way. Mm-hmm. Definitely some more videos on the way, for sure. Yeah. Um, other than that, I'm going to be doing events, all type of shit. I'm going to be outside this summer. Mm. So if you outside this summer and you don't see me, then you wasn't really outside. Ooh. And that's all I'm going to say. Heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
Yeah, Leaf, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Um, oh, where can the people find you? Oh, you can find me on Instagram at Leaf, L E A F. You can find me on Threads at Leaf. Mm-hmm. Don't find me on Twitter. As you can see, that's been unfortunate. Yeah. Um, you can find me on TikTok at Leaf NYC. Um, and then pretty much any other link you need, YouTube, et cetera. You can look me up on YouTube, Leaf Rapper, because. I have a very, very broad name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can find all my links on Instagram, so just find me there. Do you have a podcast? No, but I'm about to start a podcast. Oh, how look you at know? That. Damn. No. Do you but mean But you're a psychic? Do, do you mean Do you on mean TikTok? law? Yeah. Law, well, anyway, she's leave. psychic cuz I am going to start a podcast, but you can find that on my Instagram too when I do launch it oh her, heard it here it. first psychic yeah okay <laughs> look yeah. <she's> psychic <laughs> <laughs> okay what'd you say uh i'm gonna get into that later because it's like not really about me it's more just like a podcast i'm starting with my girlfriends Ooh. but um okay yes i'll tell you guys Tea. about it off off <laughs> the air heard um that. but yeah so my project coming out is called dub him and the second half is called but i love him so the whole thing the deluxe tape will be dub him but i love him mm. coming out soon yes all right but thank you so much leaf yeah. thank you all for tuning in uh, we'll see you next time